Yo guys, what's up? Elvin Mark here. Welcome to the art channel again. Today's a really special day. It is National Scones Day. Bet you didn't know about that. And where else better to cover this episode than inside a scone shop. We're right in front of Cheryl Scones. Let's go in and learn more about the biscuit. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to sketch some of the scones that they have in here. Welcome! Scones are biscuit-like pastries or quick breads that are often rolled into round shapes and cut into quarters, then baked. Scones can be savoury or sweet and are usually served with tea in coffee houses. Scone was the name given for a Scottish bread that was made with oats. It is believed that historically, scones were round and flat, usually as large as a medium-sized plate. It was made and baked on a griddle or open fire, then cut into triangular sections for serving. When baking powder became available to the masses, scones began to be the oven-baked, well-leavened item that we know today. A traditional way of eating scones is with clotted cream and jam. There was a debate on what should be on the scones first, the jam or the cream. While those in Devon typically spread the clotted cream first followed by jam, the Cornish tradition is to spread jam first followed by the cream. The former chef who worked in Buckingham Palace in the 80s did reveal that the Queen always had homemade Balmoral jam first. Another controversy that this little innocent pastry had sparked off is its pronunciation. Do you say scone or do you say scone? Fortunately, this is an art channel where we have come to sketch rather than worry about pronunciations or what goes onto the scone first. If you're asking me visually as an artist, I will put the cream first, then the jam. Another popular way of having the classic scone is with butter. Here at Cheryl Scones, you will find scones that have been infused with local flavours like pandan or gula malacca. These scones are to be eaten without any cream or topping. The scones here are egg-free and low in sugar, and only the freshest and finest ingredients are used in the kitchen. On their menu, you will also find other meals like their ultra-thin pizzas, kino rice bowls, soups and salads. One of the more popular locally flavoured scones is the laksa herb scone, not to be confused with the laksa dish. Cheryl chooses to use healthy and flavourful ingredients. Here we see her heading to a local market to pick out some laksa leaves.
If you ask me, I love the classic scone, especially when it's just out of the oven. It's crusty and crumbly outside, and the moist and buttery inside goes really well with the clotted cream and jam. For the flavoured scones, I really enjoy the yuzu blossom scones. The creamy and cheesy topping with the tangy yet lightly citrusy flavour is what gives it its kick. Did you enjoy this episode that was baked entirely at Cheryl Scones? Which of the scone or scones do you think is going to be your favourite? Comment in the section down below and if you are new here, you might want to consider subscribing to my art channel. Just saying. I also hope that you've gained an appreciation for this biscuit-like pastry and enjoyed watching the demos from start to finish in this episode using watercolours and gouache. Thank you for joining us here at Cheryl Scones. Once again, this is Alvin Mark, your host. Happy National Scone Day! Continue to stay well, stay safe, and until the next one, ciao ciao!